Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a camera shake. In this example, I will show it when I walk into an enemy. And it is very easy to adjust the strength and uh, the curve, how long time it should shake. Before we start, remember all the scripts that I'm using for my tutorials, they can be found on my Patreon site. The link will be in the description. And remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. Let's get to it. So what I have here on my scene is I have a player with a simple uh, player movement script. We have an enemy with a box collider 2D and it is set to trigger. And then I have the main camera. These are the three things that you will need for my example here. Let's start creating the scripts. So right click, create scripts. And this we will call camera shake like this and open it up. When it is open, we will need some few things. The first one we will have is a public animation curve. And this one we will just call curve. Then we have a public float for our shake time. So how long time the shake should be, we'll just set it as default as one. I will explain what the curve is in a second. Then we'll need a I enumerator. We can actually remove the start and update function and make a public I enumerator and call it shake. And here we'll need a vector free for our start position. And our start position uh, will be our transform dot position. So this, <clears throat> in my example here, we will put the script on the camera. So the start position will be the position of the camera. Then we will need a float for time used. And we will set it to zero. So the timer starts, of course, at zero. Then we will use a while function and here if the time used is less than the shake time then we will say the time used plus equal time dot delta time. So if this time is lower than the shake time then it will plus the time dot delta time its frames. Then we need a float with uh, some strength. Uh, strength. Let's see if I can spell it. Strength. Yes, like this. And this is how hard this uh, um, shake should be. And we can calculate that if you use that curve that we have made. And we will uh, evaluate it with the time used divided with our shake time. Then we need transform.position is equal to our start position plus random dot inside uh, unit sapphire times strength. So what this does is we have calculated our start position so we know where the camera is here it will take a random position inside a sapphire around this camera object multiplied with the strength that we calculate with this curve. So that was this does. Then you will say yield return uh, return null. And then we will set back transform.position is equal to our start position so we are back again. Let's save this. Uh, then yeah let's let's take back the update again to test it. And here let's say if input dot get key down and we will say key code dot space then we will start our curatine and we will start the shake curatine 
like this. So save this and hit back. When you're back, take your main camera and add the script. Now here you can see we have the shake time. Leave it at, uh, we will just leave it at one. Then you have the curve. So if you press here, now you have some default uh, curves down here. If we, we will just pick the first one. Then we will drag this point down here somewhere. You can always adjust this so it fits your, your game. Take this other one down. And if you double click in here, you will add another point. So let's double click in here and just drag this up. And you can use these handle to adjust how smooth this shake should, should be. Or you can add another point if you want and make a curve that fits you. I'll just go back and have this. Just something like this. Let's close this. And now let's try hit play. And now when we hit the space button, you can see it's my jump button as well. But you can see the camera is shaking. So how to call it from another script. Let's create a new script and call this enemy shake. Take your enemy, put the enemy shake on. Like this, open it up. And in here we can use an on trigger, enter 2D. And if the collision dot game object dot tag is equal to our player, then we will need we will start this curating. But before we can do that, I will make this a singleton. So let's make a public static camera shake and call it my instance. Then we will need the awake function. And he will say my instance is equal to this. Let's save this and head back to the enemy shake. And now we can simply just call it by saying camera shake dot my instance dot start curatine. What curatine do we want to start? We will start the camera shake dot my instant dot shake like this. Now save this, hit back. Remember in uh, this example, the player need to be tagged as player. And on the enemy, you need to have set it as trigger. So now let's start. And now when you hit the enemy, you will start shake. Yeah, that was what I had to show you in uh, this tutorial. I really hope it uh, helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.